Namaskarvebhya. Let us begin. I'll share the screen. Let us start with the invocation of Lord Ganesha. Jetum yastripuram harena harena vyajat balimbadhata srashtum vari bhavod bhuvena bhuvanam sheshena dhartum dharam parvatya mahisha sura pramathane siddha dhipai siddhaye dhyata pancha sharena vishwajitaye payat sanaga nanaha dikti shurayanamaha dori putrayanamaha siddhi vinayakayanamaha so today is the last session of this uh, discussion of 108 names of Lord Ganesha. So till yesterday we discussed 90 names, <clears throat> the different meanings of 90 names of Lord Ganesha we have discussed. Today we will move further. One name which I had missed because of the duplication, today we will cover that. Okay. So. Let us start with the Parayana of those names. Om Vinayaka Yanamaha Om Vignaraja Yanamaha Om Gauri Putra Yanamaha Om Ganeshwara Yanamaha Om Skandagraja Yanamaha Om Avyaya Yanamaha Om Puta Yanamaha, Om Daksha Yanamaha, Om Adhyaksha Yanamaha, Om Dvijapriya Yanamaha, Om Agnigarvachide Namaha, Om Indrashri Prada Yanamaha, Om Vani Pradayaka Yanamaha, Om Sarva Siddhi Pradaya Namaha Om Sarva Tanaya Namaha Om Sarvari Priya Namaha Om Sarvatmakaya Namaha Om Srishti Kartre Namaha Om Devani Karchitaya Namaha Om Shivaya Namaha Om Siddhi Buddhi Pradaya Namaha Om Shantaya Namaha Om Brahmacharine Namaha Om Gajananaya Namaha Om Dvaimaturaya Namaha Om Munistutyaya Namaha Om Bhakta Vignanashanaya Namaha Om Ekadantaya Namaha Om Chaturbahave Namaha Om Chaturaya Namaha Om Shakti Sanyutaya Namaha Om Lambodaraya Namaha Om Shurpakarnaya Namaha Om Haraye Namaha Om Brahma Viduttamaya Namaha Om Kavyaya Namaha Om Grahapataye Namaha Om Kamine Namaha Om Soma Surya Gnilochanaya Namaha Om Pashankushadharaya Namaha Om Chandaya Namaha Om Gunatita Yanamaha, Om Niranjana Yanamaha, Om Akalmasha Yanamaha, Om Swayam Siddha Yanamaha, Om Siddhar Chitabadam Buja Yanamaha, Om Bija Pura Pala Sakta Yanamaha, Om Varada Yanamaha. Om Shashwata Yanamaha, 
ओम कृति ने नम ओम विद्वत्प्रिया नम ओम वीत भयाय नम ओम गदिने नम ओम चक्रिणे नम ओम इक्षुचापृते नम ओम श्रीदाय नम ओम अजाय नम ओम उत्पलकराय नम ओम श्रीपतिस्तुतिहर्षिताय नम ओम कुलाद्रिभेत्रे नम ओम जटिलाय नम ओम चंद्रचूडाय नम ओम अमरेश्वराय नम ओम नागयज्ञोपवीति ने नम ओम कलिकलमशनाशनाय नम ओम स्थूलकंठा नम ओं स्वयं कर्त्रे नम ओं सामघोष प्रियाय नम ओं वराय नम ओं स्थूलतुंडाय नम ओं अग्रण्याय नम ओं धीराय नम ओं वागीशाय नम ओं सिद्धिदायकाय नम ओं दूर्वा बिल्वप्रियाय नम ओं काय नम ओं पापहारिणे नम ओं सताय नम ओं कृतागमाय नम ओं वक्रतुंडाय नम ओं सौम्याय नम ओं धूम्रवर्णाय नम ओं भक्तवांछितदायकाय नम ओं अच्युताय नम ओं केवलाय नम ओं सच्चिदानंद विग्रहाय नम ओं ज्ञाने नम ओं चिंतामणिदीपत नम ओं परमात्म नम ओं शुद्धाय नम ओं हेरंबाय नम Yesterday we saw these names. Yeah, one name, Dhumra Varnaya Namaha, which was uh, yesterday there was a duplication that Shantaya Namaha was repeated. So in place of that, we have put Dhumra Varnaya Namaha, which we will be seeing now. Okay, Dhumra Varnaya Namaha, Dhumra Varnam Yasya Saha, one who is smoke colored. See if you see the face of uh, Ganesha. Uh, Ganesha's face head is of elephant. Elephant is of smoke color. So he is called Dhumravarna. Dhumravarna Yanamaha. Okay. So we will see the next name. Om Kala Yanamaha. कलयति आयु इति काल काल कलयति इति काल सो देर आर टू एटिमोलॉजी नो देर इज ओनली वन एटिमोलॉजी वन इज दट इज कलयति ओके बट कलयति वाट इट काउंट देर इज वन सिंपल कलयति इट सेल्फ इज ए वन एटिमोलॉजी सो कलयति आयु आयु मीन वन विच मेजर्स द लाइफ मेजर्स द एज और वन विच काउंट one who has control over the life of the people when should he one born when should one die etc okay another definite another etymology is kalayati iti kalaha one which measures the time past present future everything is under his control that's why he is called uh but kala okay kalayati iti kala this is om kalaya namaha ओम मूषक वाहनाय नम मूषक वाहन यन हूज मौंट वन हूज वेहिकल इज रैट ओके मूषक वाहन नौ हाउ 
his vehicle became rad so there is one story i am not good at rendering the story so the story goes like this there was one rakshasa called gajasura his face was similar to ganesha's face but the difference between ganesha and uh, gajasura was ganesha was from good side gajasura was from bad side he was asura he used to trouble his uh, he was a king asura king he used he was very proud uh, ahankari what we call and uh, he used to trouble his people he used to uh, make his people suffer uh, harass his people so once he tried to uh, fight with uh, lord shiva while he went to do that shiva said i don't want to fight with you my son will fight with you so ganesha uh, fought with him and having after fighting he converted uh, the gajamukha gajamukha sura was losing the fight and he understood that i cannot fight with this ganesha he is very powerful so he understood and he said that no i cannot fight with you i lost i am surrendering to you so now whatever you but one thing you must assure that i am always with you i want to be your devotee i want to always spend my time with you so ganesha agreed with that and said that in this form you can never do my service so i will convert you into a rat and hereafter you will be my vahana you will be my uh, mount or you will be my vehicle so uh, ganesha converts gajamukha sura into rat so that rat became the vahana of lord ganesha it's the story so mushakah vahanam yasya sah uh, there are other uh, in the uh, when we speak from the spiritual level or from the level of uh, supreme being mushakah also means brahma okay mushaka means stay one who steals okay stay stay also means brahma and brahma vahati one who takes towards brahma steals us towards brahma from this materialistic world who steals us towards the brahma brahma vahayati iti mushaka vahana mushakam mushakam vahayati he steals mushakam iva vahayati one who steals like mushaka and take towards brahma is also mushaka vahana but that etymology is not that proper so that's why i was not uh, 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 i i never wanted to take that here but there is that there's this there is such etymology which is seen okay so this is the proper etymology mushakah vahanam yasya sa mushaka vahanaya namaha om shri kanthaya namaha श्री ही कंठे यस्य सह श्री मी शोभा द ब्यूटी ओके द शाइननेस वन हु हैज शोभा इन हिज कंठ इन हिज थ्रोट इन हिज दिस पार्ट नेक वन विथ ब्यूटीफुल नेक कंठ आल्सो मींस इनसाइड पार्ट सो वन विथ ब्यूटीफुल वॉइस वी कैन से ओके श्री कंठाय नमः beautiful speech beautiful voice beautiful neck is called shrikantha om ramarchita padaya namaha ramarchitam padam yasya sah one whose feet is worshiped by lord rama okay lord rama before going to the war and all he used to worship ganesha so it said ramarchita padaya namaha राशक्तिरिति विख्याता मशिव प्रकृति इन स्कंद पुराण द वर्ड रामा इज डिड इन डिफरेंट मैनर सो दट इज द श्लोक हियर रा शक्ति विख्याता रा मीन शक्ति महा शिव प्रकर्ति मज शिव ओके शिवशक्त्यात्मक ब्रह्म राम रामे गीयते द्रह्म विच इज Uh, which which consists both shiva and shakti that brahma is called rama okay lambodaro pe shri rama nama mahatmya mujjalam 
श्रुवा च धरित चित्ते ततः पूज्य सुरा सुरे दैट लंबोदरा आल्सो फेस दैट दैट रामा ओके रामार्चित पदम यस्य रामार्चित पदम ये नो दैट विग्रह वी हेव टू डू वेन वी कम्स टू वन हू हेज वर्शिप्ड द पद ऑफ राम ओके हियर Lambodara is worshiping worshiping the pada of Rama when he is in a one of the avatars. Okay, so Lambodara avatar, he he prayed that Rama, Para Brahman Rama, supreme being, which is Shiva Shakti Atma. Rama means Rama means Shakti, Ma means Shiva. And also there is another uh, vigraha for the word Rama. Ramante yogi na ha yatra, where yogis. Uh, enjoy in whose footsteps in whose lotus feet the yogis enjoy yogis feel blessed that is called rama pada okay that he is called he is also called rama okay so rama architam padam yasya sah rama rama archita padaya namaha the best is this etymology other etymologies it uh, takes some circus to bring to that etymology but this is the, the pure etymology for the word called ramarchita padayam om vratine namaha vratam asya asti one who observes the wo one who is like an ascetic one who follows all the rules and responsibilities which are meant for the ascetic is called vrati vratam asya asti ti vrati vrati ne namaha om purushottamaya namaha purusheshu uttamaha purushottamaha purusha means not a man what we say masculine gender man purusha does not mean that purusha is puri puri means deha okay body देहे शेते इति वन रिसाइड्स इन द बॉडी इज कॉल्ड पुरुष दैट इज आत्मा ओके सो व्हेन वी से पुरुष सूक्त दैट डस नॉट मीन इट्स द सूक्त व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड टू द पुरुष और मैन पुरुष सूक्त मींस वन व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड टू द आत्मा और परमात्मा ओके सो द वर्ड पुरुष इज डिराइव्ड एज पुरी शेते इति पुरुष पुरी मींस देह पुर Puh, puh means deha. In that deha, in that body, one who resides in the body is called purusha. That is atma. One who is beyond, one who is supreme among the atmas. Okay, when we consider from the laukika perspective or adhiv adhidevika perspective, we see that your atma is different, my atma is different. When we have that feeling, then he is the one who is best among all the atmas, paramatma. और पुरुषोत्तम पुरुषेशु उत्तम पुरुषोत्तम ओम ग्रामण्य नम ग्रामणी मीन लीडर वन हू लीड्स द ट्रूप वन हू लीड्स द ग्रूप कम्युनिटी ऑफ पीपल सो सरपंच एंड ऑल ड्यूरिंग एंशंट टाइम्स द सरपंच और एनी बडी हू वॉज लीडिंग द विलेज he was called as gramanihi now here in this context the word grama means samuha okay the group or uh, cluster of people or community of people is called grama one who encourages or pushes the people pushes the community of people or group of people one who leads them is called gramanihi so that is lord ganesha here Om Gramanya Iramaha leads to what to perform their duties. Om Maya Yukta Yanamaha Maya Ya Yukta Ha one who is associated with Maya illusory delusion delusion uh, illusory power means delusion. Okay, Maya Ya Yukta Ha one who is associated with this one who is the leader of that one who controls maya tat shakti vishud tat shakti hi vishuddha sattva pradhana maya siddha lakshmi hi that's what is said in vallabhesh upanishad which says that is the shakti 
the maya is a shakti which is vishuddha sattva pradhana which is very clean pure and sattva pradhana it has sattva guna in it maya has sattva guna in it and that maya is connected to the parabrahma that is lord ganesha here om maya yukta yanamaha om danta yanamaha damyati danta one who controls okay one who controls the mind is called danta one who controls the mind of the self where when it is in the form of uh, the elephant headed lord ganesha and one one who controls the mind of his bhaktas when bhaktas are in the uh, meditation stage that parabrahma is also called danta so danta yanamaha om bhaya varjita yanamaha bhayena varjitaha one who is devoid of all the fears fears one who has no fear parabrahma one who has no fear one who is devoid of all the fears bhaya varjita yanamaha that's why we say when he is bhaya varjita he is the one who will keep us away from the bhayas all the fears so we in atharva shirsha we say avatvam mam avavaktaram avashrotaram avadataram avadhataram avanucha namavashishyam avapaschataat avapurastaat avottaraataat avadakshinaataat avachordhvaataat avadharaataat sarvato mam pahi pahi samantaat so here we are saying in this mantra atharva shirsha mantra we are requesting the uh, ganesha to protect all who is hearing this all who is chanting this from all the sides from up from, from upwards from downwards from left from right from every side protect us protect us from, from what from fear yes whatever is coming pain is coming or whatever things are coming from outside that sir mostly it will be it will be scary so to protect us from all those we are requesting lord ganesha to ava to protect so bhaya varjita yanamaha om pramatta daitya bhayadaya namaha pramatta daitya bhayadaya namaha bhayam dadati iti bhayadaha one who gives the fear is called bhayada one who gives the fear one who makes somebody get scared is called bhayadaha pramattascha te daityascha pramatta daityaha means the daityas the son of ditis son of ditis are called daityas so kashyapa had to kashyapa had 14 wives of that one is aditi another one is diti so diti the sons of ditis are called daityas sons of adities are called adityas who are all devas okay so ditis son are mad because they are they are cruel they are mad so pramattascha te daityascha so mad sons of ditis or cruel sons of ditis are called pramatta daityaha pramatta daityanam bhayadaha one who scares these mad sons of diti one who frightens these mad sons of diti is called pramatta daitya bhayadaha pramatta daitya bhayadaya namaha it means that when they see ganapati they gets very scared that he will harm us or he will affect us om vyakta murta ye namaha vyakta murti hi yasya saha one who is murti one who is physical form is manifested one who manifests himself as a physical form though he doesn't have any physical form he is nirguna he has no attributes still he converts himself he manifests himself into the physical form one who does so he is called vyakta murti hi svayam prakashamanatvat yogi nam vyakta murti hi asya 
he one who is self luminous clear in the heart of yogis though he is not he has no form but in the mind of yogis he takes one form he presents his form in front, in the minds of yogis so he is called vyakta murti om vyakta murtaye namaha om amurtakaya namaha actually this should come first and that should come later anyway uh, i don't know the author who has wrote written this he has kept it later om amurtakaya namaha na murtaha amurtaha one without physical form one who has no physical form parabrahman supreme being but he takes the form in the minds of yogis or takes the form in the minds of bhaktas devotees om amurtakaya namaha om parvati shankarot sanga khelanot sukalalanaya namaha i will read again om parvati shankarot sanga khelanot sukalalanaya namaha parvati cha shankarascha parvati shankaro parvati and shankar tayoh utsangah utsangah means lap the lap of parvati and shankara tasmin khelanam utsavah lalanancha yasya one who plays on, on that lap one who uh, enjoys on that lap one who gets affection on that lap that entity is called parvati shankaro sanga khelano utsuka lalanaha tasmai parvati shankaro sanga khelano utsuka lalanaya namaha there is one beautiful shloka connected to this how ganapati plays when he is sitting on the lap of shankara shivasya maula avalokya chandram sushundaya mugdhataya swakiyam gajanan shishustena niyate kena badhyate i think this is not complete version uh, there is some missing but not because missing in the typo in the text which i got this part is missing it's not complete anyway this first line is very beautiful shivasya maula avalokya chandram sushundaya mugdhataya swakiyam shivasya maula okay he saw chandra uh, now ganesha is sitting on the lap of shiva and he sees the chandra on the uh, head of shiva on the forehead of shiva so what is this this something which is for me to play so he uses his shunda when shiva is not watching this ganesha is slowly raising his trunk to get that uh, chandra let that gajanana the shishu gajanana protect us all that's what this shloka says there's another shloka which i could not get uh, om parvati shankarot sang khelanot sukalalana yanamaha we will take questions at the end okay om samasta jagadadhara yanamaha samastam jagat the whole universe or whole world samasta jagatah aadharah one is the substratum foundation of the end of all the worlds or one who is the substratum or funda- foundation of all the universes he is called samasta jagadadharah om samasta jagadadharaya namaha om prasannatmane namaha prasanna atma one who is happy and blissful one because at that stage at the stage of param brahma stage the atma is prasanna bliss ananda okay, so he is called prasanna atman om hrishta dushtaya namaha hrishtascha asau tushtascha one is joyful and one who is contented who is satisfied with all thing He is called tushtaha santushti hi we say no we are satisfied that is santushti means satisfied in a very beyond the level tushta means tushta is also means tushta means the same who is contented who is satisfied 
So in this manner, we have completed 108 names of Lord Ganesha. We have seen the meaning of that. We have did the Parayana of these names. We will be doing Parayana of these names. Okay. So for doing Parayana of these names, you don't need any Diksha. You don't need to have or something which should be uh, which should be taken in a proper ritualistic manner or you need to do you need not have to do puja, specific puja before reading this you can read it anywhere and there is no niyama that you should read it only in the puja room while you are in the office if you have free time you can read and meditate upon these names while you are traveling in the bus you can do that while you are traveling in a flight you can anywhere while you're walking, you can do that. While doing morning walk, you can read that. It has no uh, rules that it should be read at this place, sitting here. No, it's free. Anybody can read it. Anywhere that it can be read and meditated upon. Okay. That is the beauty of Ashtottara. Any Ashtottara. It's not that only Ganesha Ashtottara should, uh, has no rule. Any Ashtottara can be read anywhere. Now we'll see what are the various benefits we get from reading Ashtotra. And this will also answer the question which someone has asked yesterday that uh, why Ashtotra is read during the puja time. So when we are reading these benefits, that question will also be answered here. Uh, ash colored this one question which I have already asked, uh, I have replied Dhumra Varna uh, there is no story behind it but the color of the elephant is ash color, the grey color okay, the same color because the Ganapati has that, the head of elephant its color is Dhumra Varna it's ash, it's like ash that's all, that is the only meaning for that uh, questions we'll take after the completion of this uh, uh, Falashruti. Okay, we'll have the Falashruti. Then we will take the questions. I'll take the questions. I'll take all the questions. Atha Falashruti hi ashto tarashate naivam nam nam vigneshwaram vibhum tushta vaparvati kantaha tripuram hantu mutyataha this is Palashruti, which is connected to this Ashtotra. Uh, there is one Ashtotra Stotra where most of these names come. So, Falashruti, I have taken from different places uh, and have fit it. For Ashtottara Nama, uh, Nama Parayana, uh, there is no separate Falashruti type thing. But there are different Ashtottara Stotras and different places where we speak, the, where we chant the name of Lord Ganapati. So, at those places, we get the Falashruti. So, I have taken all, I have tried to take some of those Falashrutis and fit here. Okay. okay. Uh, so Ashtottara Shate Naiva Nam Nam Vigneshwaram Vibhum Tushtava Parvati Kanta Tripuram Hantu Mudhyata. So the, this comes, this Ashtottara Stotra comes when uh, uh, Tri, uh, Shiva is fighting against Tripura Sura. So to kill that Tripura, he actually chanted these eight, 108 names and he uh, Pleased the Lord Ganapati. So, Yaf Pujaye Dane Naiva, one who using the same 108 names, one who invokes Lord Ganapati, one who worships Lord Ganapati using Durva, Bilvapatra, Pushpa, Chandana, and all, he gets all the desires fulfilled. He or she gets all the desires fulfilled and gets free from all the obstacles. This is one Falashruti. Okay. We will move ahead with some other Falashrutis. Uh, 
this salashruti is from atharva shirsha so while chanting this ashtottara no doubt these benefits also we get sa brahma bhuya yakalpate he he becomes one with brahman because see most of the names which we read are connected to the supreme being so while chanting again and again and again we starts feeling getting one with lord ganapati so sa brahma bhuya yakalpate sa sarva vighnair na badhyate sa sarva sarva vighnair na badhyate one who reads this will never get uh, uh, means from the difficulties or the problems he will never get troubled okay sa sarvata sukhame dhate everywhere there will be happiness sa pancha mahapapa atramujyate he will be free from the five mahapapas which we discussed yesterday okay. saayam adhiyano divasakritam papam nashayati one who reads uh, at the end of the day the papa the sin which was committed throughout the day will get destroyed pratradhiyano ratrikutam papam but these sins are not the sins which we do knowingly unknowingly which the sins which are done they will be destroyed because see if we are saying sa saayamadhiyano divasakritam papam nashayati so one if someone understands it there are people who try to interpret this in this manner so okay full day i will commit some mistake commit some papas at the end of the day i will read this ashtottara no this does not work in that manner uh, it is like by mistake some papa happened unknowingly we are not intended uh, the mind, uh, we are not intentionally we are not doing some papa but by mistake we have hurt somebody we have we have done some papa then by the end of the day if we read this that unknowingly papa which we have done that gets destroyed pratara dhiyano ratrikutam papam nashayati one who reads in the morning his papas which were committed which were by mistake which got committed at the night time that got gets destroyed stayam pratah prayunjano apapo bhavati one who reads both morning and the evening all the papas gets destroyed sarvatra dhiyano bhavigno bhavati so see i was saying no that this can be read anywhere sarvatra dhiyana everywhere one who reads it everywhere that person becomes apavigna he will have no uh, obstacles at all no difficulties at all no problems at all dharmartha kama moksham cha vindati and that person will attain both dharma artha kama and moksha all the purusharthas savagmi bhavati he will become a very good orator savidyavan bhavati he will be full, full of the knowledge mahavignatram uchyate all the difficulties he will be free from the difficulties all the great difficulties mahadoshatram uchyate from all the uh, dosha dosha means like mistakes mahadosha there are big mistakes if something has done unknowingly from that he will be free mahapapa pramuchyate from the sins one will be free now these are something which i also experienced this is not there in any book but this is some experiences which i heard from the scholars who are i heard from the devotees and some falashruti which i myself have experienced while doing this uh, parayana of ganapati okay peace of mind one that is the reason why ashtot i also asked some great scholars why ashtottara is included in pujas so some reasons i got here are the some reasons which i got from them these are also some experience which i experienced while doing so okay that is the reason why ashtottara got installed in the pujas one one who performs that whether the meaning is known or unknown doesn't matter even while we chant without knowing the meaning still it affects our mind okay it affects our brain 
it affects our consciousness it gives peace of mind it strengthens us to face the pains and sorrows received from the materialistic world it gives mental strength it gives the power takes the individual closer to the self realization because see many names say keeps us reminding that we are connected to the parabrahman so when we keep on meditating the same names again and again with the meaning we start feeling that we are very closer to to that parabrahman we are one with the parabrahman makes in uh, increases the level of concentration that is my personal experience i have uh, i have also heard it from others makes inner world stronger that that's also experience which i got okay but i have seen others saying the same thing it gives confidence it gives life lessons there are many stories through which we learn life lessons okay. so these are some falashrutis which uh, i have been experiencing and also i have been seeing people speak i have been listening people saying the these benefits of he hearing or practicing or chanting this ashtotra shatanam now we'll take questions and once the questions gets over we will uh, uh so i will stop the sharing i will take the questions uh okay can you kindly teach the meaning of ganesha atharva shirsham later uh sure sometime later we can plan this uh uh maybe vyoma and i will have the discussion about this and we will plan uh, how to take it ahead okay thank you for this suggestion will we be able to download the full list of all 108 names in one document not in separate presentations uh we will be providing that today the presentation got over so this whole presentation will be shared with you okay okay so we will take the questions directly now i hope today i will be able to listen yesterday there was some issue rajini ji namaste sir ha namaste ito 108 prartha idradu nama da artha helidira invocation prarthane arthane gottaglilla adan helakagutta ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಹೇಳಿದ ದಿವಸ ನೀವು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಲೇಟ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರಿ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತೆ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೂ ಕುಡ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಡೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಸೊ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಜೇತುಂ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರಂ ಹರೇಣ ಹರಿಣ ವ್ಯಾಜಾತ್ ಬಲಿಂ ಬದ್ಧತ ಸೃಷ್ಟುಂ ವಾರಿ ಭವೋದ್ಭುವೇನ ಭುವನಂ ಶೇಷೇಣ ಧರ್ತುಂ ಧರಾಂ ಪಾರ್ವತ್ಯ ಮಹಿಷಾಸುರ ಪ್ರಮಥನೆ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಧಿಪೈ ಸಿದ್ಧಯೇ ಧ್ಯಾತ ಪಂಚಶರೇಣ ವಿಶ್ವಜಿತೇ ಪಾಯಾತ್ ಸ ನಾಗಾನ ಲೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಗಾನ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ನಾಗ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗಜ ಓಕೆ ದ ಅನದರ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಗ ಇಸ್ ಗಜ ನಾಗಾನ ಗಜಾನನ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಜಾನನ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಜೇತುಂ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರಿಪುರಂ ಹರೇಣ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಡ್ ಹರಿ ahara sorry one who helped hara to conquer the tripura jetum yas tripuram harena harina harina vyajat balim badhata one who helped hari to uh, bind or tie the bali bali chakravarti in the form of vamana okay jetum yas tripuram harena harina vyajat balim badhata ಸೃಷ್ಟುಂ ವಾರಿ ಭವೋದ್ಭುವೇನ ಭುವನಂ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಡ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹರೇಣ ಹರಿಣ ವ್ಯಾಜಾತ್ ಬಲಿಂ ಬದ್ನ ಸೃಷ್ಟುಂ ವಾರಿ ಭವೋದ್ಭುವೇನ ಭುವನಂ ಶೇಷೇಣ ಧರ್ತುಂ ಧರಾಂ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ದ ಶೇಷ ಟು ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೃಥ್ವಿ because it is in purana it is believed that shesha is the one who is holding this prithvi or holding this earth sheshena dhartum parvatya mahishasura pramathane one who helped parvati in the destruction of mahishasura in killing of mahishasura mahishasura pramathane vya dhyatah panchasharani dhyatah dhyatah panchasharani 
ध्यात पंचाशर मीन वन हू इज प्रेड वन हू इज वर्शिप्ड बै दि पंचशर पंचाशर इज द मन्मथ ओके पार्वती महिषासुर प्रमथने सिद्धाधिपै सिद्ध सिद्धाधिपै दोस् आर् द लीडर्स ऑफ सिद्धा मीन मुनीस और ऋषीस दे प्रेड हिम फॉर सिद्धि एंड फ्रॉम देयर हेल्प फ्रॉम द हेल्प ऑफ गणपति दे गॉट द सिद्धि ध्यात पंचशरेण विश्वजित ये पायात स नागान लेट दैट नागान न प्रोटेक्ट दिस दिस द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्स धन्यवाद सर वाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ गम गणपत ये नम गम इज ए बीजाक्षर ओके गम इज ए बीजाक्षर विच इज नॉट देर इन अष्टोत्तर बट गणपति यू नो गण गणा पति गणपति वन हू इज द लीडर ऑफ द ट्रूप इज कॉल गणपति तस्म गणपत ये नम गम इज ए बीजाक्षर देर इज ए बीजाक्षर फॉर आल द देवी देवता क्रीम इज देर गम इज देर शम इज देर देर आर डिफरेंट बीजाक्षर दैट मे नीड अनदर क्लास फॉर दैट वन नॉट टू विच इज वन नॉट टू सेकेंड आई फाइंड आउट प्रमत्त दैत्य भयदाय नम वन नाट टू इज प्रमत्त दैत्य भयदाय नम प्रमत्त दैत्य भयद मीन दयद मीन वन हू गिव वन हू मेक् सम वन स्कैर भय ददा वन हू गिव द फियर ओके प्रमत्त दैत्य मीन द मैड दैत्या द सन्स ऑफ दिटी दिटि इज अ वैफ ऑफ कश्यप सो दैत्य देवता दैत्या असुरा दीस आर् दन्स ऑफ कश्यप ओके दैत्या आर् मेट टू बी रांग बिहेव बिहेव्ड सन्स ऑफ कश्यप ओके बैड सन्स ऑफ कश्यप सो वन हू मेक्स दीस् कश्यप सन्स दैत्या दिटी सन्स दैत्या स्कैर हि इज कॉल प्रमत्त दैत्य भयद प्रमत्त दैत्य भयदाय नम ओके सो देर इज दिस क्वेश्चन वेन यस्टर्डे क्लास वीडियो विल बी पोस्टेड कैन बी आंसर्ड ओनली फ्रॉम द व्योमा टेक्निकल पार्ट इज टेकन केयर बाय देम हा इट विल बी अपलोडेड सोन सर बाय टुडे बोथ द क्लासेस विल बी अपलोडेड ओके the presentation has been uploaded only video has to be uploaded okay okay and this full presentation i will share with you this is the corrected version there were mistakes in earlier versions so i have corrected those i will share those too. sure sir inner world means the manas when we do the meditation there is one outer world means the world which we see here okay which we can see from this eyes but there is inner world which we cannot see from these indriyas which cannot which we cannot experience from our senses there is one inner world so awakening that inner world atma so that is called inner world here as there are different forms of mind which is the form that we see in temple uh in temples also we do see different forms the gajamukha is one avatar in different avataras are there where he is gajamukha only but there are different avataras so different names we will find in temples and that is adi daivika level if you are asking about the levels that's adi daivika level which we see in temples but that is for meditating having meditated we have to reach the level called adhyatmika level Uh, there is another request about teaching ganesha trishati yeah we will plan for that uh, we may require some time but please keep in touch with vyoma 
I'm sure uh, the, we will plan something and we'll get back to you. Bhavati Bhiksham Dehi. Oh, this is something which is not related. Anyway, uh, Bhavati Bhiksham Dehi is Shuddham. When Bhavati is saying, we are saying just uh, Bhavati Tvam Bhiksham Dehi, that needs to be Bhavati Sambodhana here. Bhavati is Sambodhana. Whenever Sambodhana is used, the Madhyama Purusha is used. Tvam. Tvam Bhiksham Dehi. When we are asking to some stri. For requesting for bhiksha, then we say Om Bhavati Bhiksha Tom Bhiksha Dehi. Okay. When we are asking some Purusha, Bhavan Bhiksha Dadatu, there we use Bhavan. We are not using Sambodhana. The Sambodhana for Bhavan is very, in Purusha, it's very rare. Bhavati is there. Okay. I think the, oh, there are many. To pray at home, can you please show us? So that is belief that uh, if it is right side, then uh, it needs lot of uh, puja, lot of rituals and all. So uh, means if that, but when you have reached, uh, when you are thinking from the, see that it does not matter much. If you have belief in the Lord, that does not matter much. But yeah. If you have that nature of fear that something will happen, then I would suggest go with the left-sided trunk, not with the right-sided one. But if you ask me, <laughs> I uh, because of my love towards Lord Ganesha, I am not scared of him. I have love towards him. So uh, whether it is right or left, I don't care. I bring it to home and I keep it. But yeah, if uh, there is some uh, feeling that if there is some, because it happens, it's not wrong to be scared and all. If there is some feeling that, yeah, this will create some problem to us, then it would be better not to bring the Balamuri Ganesha, that's right-sided trunk, right trunk Ganesha. Left would be better because tradition says uh, there is a Manyata Sampradaya and that right-sided trunk uh, needs lot of ritual, lot of uh, shuddhata and all, cleanliness, pure, purity and all. So better not for that. There are many Ganesha Stotrams. Uh, I would suggest go and read Ganesha Puranam daily one chapter, Ganesha Puranam and Mudgala Puranam. Uh, that whole text will give you many Stotras and all Stotras are recommended. Yes, there are two hands raised, Sahana. Yes, Sahana ji. Sahana. Yes, sir. Oh, sir, actually, um, uh, the one who controls mind, uh, you said, right? So, uh, mind is uh, limited to body, right? Uh, yes. Then Ganesha is uh, like, uh, uh, is, in, is not having mind and all, I think. But Ganesha is, as I said, there are three levels. We have to understand yeah. from three levels. Then there fear also. Levels. You said after that uh, mind out, out of uh, the one who controls the mind, after that also of the one you said fear, the word use, you uh, use the word fear. Yes. So yes. that also Atma Gata Guna Hakalu. It applies to gods also. Yes, yes, yes. Deveshwapi asti, Parantpadeva, Adhidevika, Adhidevika stare asti, Adhibhautika stare api asti, Adhyatmika stare tatsarvam kimapi na pavar. Shuddha iti ekam padam payagam krutta vandha kalu. Shuddha yanamah. In what manner Shuddha yanamah iti utte? Shuddha iti utte unadhi rahitaha iti ekahart. Idhanim parabrahma yaha asti, saha gunadhi rahitaha asti. Sarvaihi gunaihi rahita. He's not attached fear, to it. Fear is a guna, right? Huh? Uh, fear, fear is a one of the guna, right? Like gun, uh, how it will... Again, I'm saying that three levels <laughs> we have to take every day. 
Yeah. All, all, all the names are a little confusing. Like if we think one thing, it will how it will become uh, that confusion dilemma is creating actually. That's why I'm asking. Huh, that's what I have been saying regularly that don't take compare each name with don't take each name compare each uh, all the names with each other that yeah. will confuse you take one name at the time yeah and see what is the meaning and connect it to either where does it gets connected you have to see every name gets connected to one of the three meanings adhyatmika adhidaivika adhibhotika that we have to do. Otherwise, we will get confused. No doubt about that. Tatra yeah. sandesha avashyam bhavishyati. Tatra asmakam chintanam trishu stareshu bhavet. Pratyekam nama svikaroto anyani namani vismaroto tada. Hmm. Yes. Shuddha iti yada vadamaha jatrapi arthadvayam sambhavati tadapi ekam artham ekasmin stare eva upayoktavyam so then the mischievousness of uh, Ganesha, Krishna and all things will be uh, categorized in the Adi Bhautika Eva. Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, uh, each... there is nothing. Yeah. There's a pureness, it's... no yeah. attributes, no mischievousness, nothing. Yeah. Even for doing mischievous things, he converts himself into Adhibhotika level. Yeah. Which, uh, if we think more and more, this Adhibhotika level does not exist at all. Mm -hmm. And these all names which comes under Adhibhotika level should be removed. But yeah. that is another level. We are not... Uh, we are yeah. not uh, eligible to do that. Yeah. Just we can know, we can understand, try yes. to understand. Correct. Yeah. And uh, if each one mean the when we read, uh, if there is mm, like, shall I ask in Kannada? Oh, sure. So, either one hesser na nama nama valin and yaudhe one hesser uh, there need not be story. But for Avyakta and Amaha and all, we have some uh, this uh, Adikela and Agate, Avyakta and Amaha, Shuddha and Amaha, Adikela, Vedanta level, Arthagur Sikta, Yaka on Shuddha, Yaka on Gunatita, that's Adita, that's Vedanta level, that's Upanishad, uh, 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 philosophical level answers are there. Yeah. The perception will be changes, like. Yes. On, according to the names. Yes, yes. Sir, and I, I just want to clarify that the shloka which you said, right, there, uh, yesterday also I asked the same question. Uh, he is, uh, the Ganesha is the supreme, is, is the Ganesha is supreme. But you said, uh, like, uh, I didn't get the clarity in that one. Like, one day form, nama halavu, one day rupa antarala, ada apply agata ilige. Ade, ade, ade apply agata now, Palakram Yelladu, Yella Purana Galilu, very, very, they were a Hesaran Heli, our supreme being on the head of the Bandidare. Our Parabram Hunter, you have the Tekundre, Krishna and Ne Prathama Purushan the Hedro. Vishnu Purana on the Kundre, Vishnu and no, Shiva Purana on the Tekundre, Shiva and no, Devi Bhagavata the Kundre, Devi and no. Are they Ganesha Puranta Ganesha? Agitra Ili Ganesha Hege help Martha or Sushti Madli Kagli, Brahma Madidon, the Hedad Mele, Uru Heg Ganesha Hegurana, the Gala Kathegali Yao de Kathetekolino, Sushti Madwaga, Brahma Niga, Samasiagate, Parabrahma, Parabrahma Vere, Brahma Vere, Brahma Chaturmoka Brahman, Alcatale or Brahma, Parabrahma Niga de Lenil, Aduna Pumsaka Brahma, Idu Brahma. Nenna held the Brahma word. I thought other to bear entity. So E. Brahma Idanala, only Samasia Glikishuaido. Utivity Dini, Yaru Hutsila and Yelinda Bandantan and Gotilla. When Marbeka Dino the Gutta de Ruaga, 
ಒಂದು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಕಾಣಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮಂದು ಆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಗೆ ದಾರಿ ತೋರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕತೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಪುರಾಣಗಳಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಆ ಶಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಗಣೇಶ ಪುರಾಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಗಣೇಶನಾಗಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪುರಾಣದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಜೇತುಮ್ಯ ಸ್ತ್ರಿಪುರಂ ಅಂತ ಗಣೇಶ ಪುರಾಣದಿಂದ ಬಂದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೊ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಗಣೇಶನನ್ನೇ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ ಗಣೇಶ ಅಂತ ಹೆಸರು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಲ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವು ಫಲಶ್ರುತಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವ್ ಏನೇ ಒಂದು ತಗೊಂಡ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ರು ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಅದು ಕರ್ಮ ನಾವ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೇನೆ ಅದು ಹೋಗೋದು ಅಂತಾನು ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಪಠನೆ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಹೋಗುತ್ತ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಡೋದಾಗ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಏನೇ ಬರ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಅದು ಸಾಧನೆ ಮೂಲಕ ಅಂತ ಅಥವಾ ಈ ತರ ಪಠನೆಯಿಂದ ಸಹಾಯ ಹೇಗಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕರ್ಮಗಳು ಕಳೆಯೋದಾಗ್ಲಿ ಅನುಭವಿಸ್ಲೇಬೇಕು ಅದರನ್ನು ನಾವು ತಡಿಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ ಬೇರೆಯವರಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಹರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವೆದರ್ ಬೈ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರಾಯಣ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಬಿ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ವೆದರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ನೋ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ that we have for that whatever phala is there that we have to experience only the thing is after doing regular parayana of these things we get the strength to face that karma phal that i can tell beyond that if there is any other answer i may not be knowing but that strength we get karma phala is not devoid to even gods the in adi bhautika adi daivika level the gods also have to face their karma phala even krishna when he took the birth he did some karma for that he also has to face the phala rama had to face everyone for their their karma they had their phala okay mother very thanks mother wonderful session no many things uh, thank you so much mother dhanyawad nikhil ji namaste ji can you hear me can you hear me hello yes yes i can hear you yeah uh, i had like uh, i guess three or four questions one is um the uh, amurta kaya namaha is one name i think you said today mm-hmm. is that equivalent to avyakta murta kaya namaha because i have read that also ha yes it is the meaning is almost same okay yes. okay uh, the, the other thing different. okay but meaning but is meaning is okay similar to the parvati shankara sang utsanga kelana there is a similar one which is shailendra tanujot sang kelana utkamana sayan i have seen that name also both are same but there is in shailendra yeah. uh, yeah. uh, there is only parvati's mention is there shankara is not mentioned there i have seen okay, that okay so shailendra tanuja means the daughter of Shailendra king of mountains shailendra tanuja tanuja means parvati okay shailendra himalaya shailana ah. indraha himalaya shaila means parvata parvatanam indraha raja okay. himalaya okay. uh, shailendra tanuja tanoha jata means daughter okay so okay that okay. is parvati so there only one name is there here shankara and parvati both are there no got it then one more which was uh, unique which i uh, have seen elsewhere is brahma dvesha vivarjitaya nama uh-huh. is there a story yes. behind that yes is there a story behind that because it seems the one who the names suggest that somebody who has given up enmity with brahma so don't take brahma dvesha vivarjita no brahma dvesha vivarjitaya nama no i don't know story okay But meaning i think you understood the meaning you know? okay no i don't know any story behind that okay okay only one thing means brahma dvesha vivarjitaya means brahma dveshaihi vivarjitah mm. those who uh, do brahma dvesha 
from the from them he keeps himself away oh okay okay parab brahma dvesha got it got it believe in parab brahma those means what we call them atheist yes atheist uh the, the you had spoken about this but if you could go into little more detail uh on that madhyama vani uh when you had spoken about it uh uh-huh. you had said that uh basically people who are trained in vyakarana have a better chance of reading that what, uh, what that exactly is, does it mean and so, yeah. yeah yeah i understood your question so yeah. the madhyama vak the madhyama speech hmm. is something which is in a japa avastha when hmm. uh, one when someone else does could not hear that so that mm-hmm. avastha is called mad- that speech is okay. madhyama speech mm-hmm. so uh, the vyakaranas the who ever mm-hmm. study vyakarana they say that this is the level where etymologies must be understood of all the words okay so that can happen only if somebody is vyakarana okay okay that's why madhyama speech can be seen only by vyakaranas that's what vyakarana says being a vyakarana i may agree but if i am not vyakarana <laughs> i'll say that is japa avastha everybody mm-hmm. can hear that right okay uh and i guess this connected to uh, the topic of vyakarana itself there yes. I, i've been very confused about this is that we in a, any sentence or any uh, um word that ends in a sentence which ends in a visarga we tend to pronounce the whole thing like namaha instead of namah is there any specific rule which says that end of sentence visarga needs to be pronounced as hakara uh, specifically no no that is because of the different accents of different places namah okay. is the correct one but then dakshinatyas okay. uh, in dakshina only i think only maharashtra they pronounce nama you know the end it is nama okay. there is no rule for that but the proper pronunciation will be nama but does that not ruin the chandas when we are chanting uh, like any mantra or etc for visarga there is no specific rule that's why uh, that okay. has not been followed by anybody uh, later on at some places some rules are there after visarga if something comes there are rules but right. uh, how to pronounce visarga there is no specific rule as per my understanding i have to search for that. okay it's a shiksha shastra related topic shiksha shastra means not education the right. science of politics vedanta yeah. vedanta shiksha right i guess just the one comment on earlier uh, i think sahana ji had put on yeah. the parana uh, can it actually my understanding and i think my experience also has been that uh, i think we like to think about these things very rationally right that how can chant how can ma or how can puja effect karma phala i think it can in the sense that i mean that is why it has been suggested by shastra right like you have very specific things in jyotisha shastra if you do this then you can have a child if you can do that you will have a child etc so i i think there is some meaning to it karma phala is any adrishta you cannot know really the reason for why certain things are happening to you so uh, it's i think in my view it's good to trust <laughs> the phala no, no, yes, yes. karma phala get the when what jyotisha also says i have studied right. a bit of jyotisha mm-hmm. so what jyotisha also says uh, when you see uh, purushartha is the pradhana okay bhagya and all that just gives you suchana that this is going to happen mm. or this will not happen mm. but if you have a power if you have a, uh, mental power psychological power that you can change it then you can change that right so your power that even jyotisha says that's what i say uh, karma phala you may not avoid but that power is there that will help you in tackling that in different manner that's all and we have to discuss the karma phala is a very complicated thing correct and you mm-hmm. have understood it in a depth 
but uh, i have one thing which i understood from my gurus or i have learned from different uh, acharyas is karma phala cannot be avoided but uh, uh, how this helps we have to see right yeah hey, thank you so much it's a really uh, enlightening course uh, i hope we can have many more in future thank sure. you so much devaki ji devika ji you had some question inter mm. is there a special place or direction at home i uh, sorry i don't know about much about this vastu related thing but yeah if you keep it uh, east faced that will be good is vishwak sena form followed in vaishnava tradition same yes they say it's same i have spoken to some uh, uh, vaishnavites uh, who follow this thing i ask them don't you do the puja of ganesha they say we don't do the puja of ganesha as ganesha but vishwak sena is our ganesha have long days vinayak chaturthi celebration and it's over i am living in us here we have the celebration coming up and i don't know how to prepare for that could you please give a short explanation how to prepare and do for okay this is a very complicated question this needs time i would suggest uh, if you have ganapati murti at home keep it and start doing puja that's all that's the simple thing which we can do and i would suggest uh, do the parayana of uh, ganesh sahasra nama stotra daily uh, uh, with your bhakti there is shoda uh, shopachara puja if you can do you can do uh, if you cannot perform that just uh, put some flowers do naivedya and chant the sastotra uh, twice if possible thrice if not possible at least twice a day so that is my suggestion for now uh, because your ishta devata is ganapati you can do wherever possible upasana is always possible <laughs> layanubhava where was this layanubhava i'm sorry i think ನೇಹಾಜಿ <laughs> my question is uh, we use that um, uh, the, the that flower specifically the garland um, on uh, ganesh chaturthi which is uh, you want to tell me tamil letter your voice is breaking uh, uh, now is it audible mahodaya now is it audible yes 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 yeah uh, that on the you know the ಚತುರ್ಥಿ <laughs> On, because on that day we specifically get the yeah. garland we keep it so i've been thinking that we can we, we use it only on that day and uh, others no, no, other days no, no, no. we can't uh, use uh, that's the favorite pl- flower of ganesha i need to make up because that uh, that flower is uh, there's quite a lot of them around my house 
Ah, yes. <laughs> so I can uh, use it every day. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Thank you, Mahode. It was a very, 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 very interesting session. Looking forward uh, more. I mean, even I would like to learn if an opportunity given Ganesha Trishati. We hope we will do that. Uh, yes. I will discuss with Yoma and we will get back to you soon. But it will take some time, but we will do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Because even uh, though I am the Bhatta of Ganesha, it needs a lot of research to go back and find the meaning of... Because I have been chanting these names, but when this course came, many names were like... Uh, understanding is different, but presenting is different. For that, a lot of research is required. Yes, so it yes. took me many days to come up with the meaning of these and etymologies. Proper etymology is also required. I cannot bring anything and provide... So, yeah, for 300, it will take at least three months. Yes. So, uh, which book would you suggest for uh, studying the Niruktam, the etymology of words? Any textbook for us? Simple book so, where we can uh, understand any simple Jokumba textbook. Jokumba has published many books on Nirukta. You can just check. Uh, where, Mahodya? Who? Chaukhamba, Chaukhamba Publications. Okay. They have published many good books on Nirukta. Because that should be at a very uh, beginner's level. Uh -huh. You'll yeah. get it. The small books you'll get it. Because I have not studied Nirukta in depth. So I cannot suggest. But I will find out uh, if there is some good book. I will let you know. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mahodaya. So you can take my email ID from the Goma. And yes, you sir. can put this question over to, to my email ID. Yes. Uh, uh, please send it uh, via email. Uh, don't put yes. in discussion form I, because I rarely use this uh, portal. In, uh, but Vyoma has given me one email ID. There I will reply to your question. Okay. I will uh, take the email ID from Vyoma and I will send the email. Okay. Thank you very much, Mahodaya. Thank you. It has been excellent. And someone and asked you. what is Layanubhavaha. There is one word, Ganesha Layanubhavaha. Ganesha Ashtotra Layanubhava in the title of the uh, what do you say, our course. So laya means the flow. Okay. Ganesha Laya. The flow of Ganesha. The flow of the names of the Ganesha. That's what we were discussing. That's all. And I don't know why white uh, uh, arka is preferred. There are lots of questions for which I too have no answers. Bhakti is different and research is different. So I have not researched on this area why that white arca is used. But uh, please put the question to my email. The questions which I am unable to answer, I will try to find it because these are some good questions which I never had in my mind. But now that question has come. I will ask somebody and I'll get back. I will give the answers. Uh, sir, uh, the email ID has been shared in chat. Uh, okay, they can okay. take. Okay. There are many life experiences. Someone has asked, Rikard, could you share one of your favorite life experiences? Whole life is experiences of Ganesha. Which one I could share, I don't know. All are good experiences. Every step of my life, is taken care by him. Whenever I was in trouble, uh, some or other form you see. Now, one of the good experiences which I can tell is one of the good experiences. I will not say that uh, best or this I cannot say. But one of the good experiences which I had every year, just before, just one or two months before Ganapati uh, Chaturthi, Ganesh Chaturthi, I get call from Venkata Subramanyam, who is the CEO of uh, Vyoma, he asked me to take few sessions on anything related to Ganesha. So he blesses me through this way. Because, because of a lot of works, a lot of busy schedules of the university, uh, or traveling and all, I may not able to give the time which I want to spend with Lord Ganesha. So through this way, he asks me to conduct the sessions and research on him, understand him. So this is one of the beautiful experience which I had. Uh, 
from Lord Ganesha. Last year, there was Sahasranam Stotra Parayana thing. This year, Ashtottara. Maybe every year, some or other uh, opportunities will come to me. I am sure about that. I never thought that this will come this year. This was not which I requested and took. This came by itself, sudden. And he gave me, he also uh, created time for me for that. I was searching for time. You can ask Sahana Ji who is here. We were working on the time and somehow we got this, this five day slot. Because other days I am traveling. The previous week also I was traveling. Next week I will be traveling. This five days somehow I got it. And that is the grace of Lord Ganesha who gave me these five days. And this beautiful team of participants. Because usually what happens uh, when videos are off, nobody discusses, nobody listens. Participate, uh, uh, joining the course is different. People join the course, but they don't participate. We have seen this, but here it's not like that. All are participating. Many questions are coming. Though I am not able to answer all the questions, let Lord Vakratunda bless that was one day I will be able to do that. But yeah, questions are very good questions, which I'll take and I will uh, work on it, find the answers for that. Okay. Thank you all for giving me this opportunity. Ganesha had made Nimitta uh, to explain his name. I am the Nimitta to explain the name. Vyoma is the Nimitta to make me the part of this uh, uh, sessions. And you are the Nimitta for my knowledge. Because, because of you all, my knowledge, uh, I could learn a lot about Lord Ganesha. So I uh, just thank Lord Ganesha for making me, giving me this opportunity. Uh, Sahana ji, can we end the session? Uh, just one thing, sir. I just take two minutes yes. and I'll finish yes. this. Namaste, everyone. Uh, we are at the end of this course. Uh, I personally am very happy. I was being there almost every classes and I was listening to, to the classes and it was very amazing. For me, it is very, um, you know, like uh, in since childhood, uh, I was being like very, uh, Ganesha was very favorite God for me too also. So uh, since like this, uh, it's, it's a very great opportunity for me also and hope uh, everyone has enjoyed this class and course um so i would uh heartily thanks uh vinayak sir for this amazing course uh you have been you have handled very amazingly um thank ananta ananta dhanyavada <laughs> Uh, from Vyoma also, I'm thanking you and I thank each and everyone who have, who have participated in this. And uh, so many good questions, as Sir mentioned. Uh, we, we even, uh, we even th uh, didn't thought of all those things. So many uh, perspectives and interpretation. Uh, thank you one and all. Um, here are a few uh, things I would like to share. Uh, this is a course analytics. The course has been done for five sessions. And till now, the resistance and the enrollments were 372. This is the average attendance of this course um, till yesterday. Uh, it is not included today's. And yes, there will be a test after this course, after uh, some days, uh, which will be uh, in the first week of October. It will be a computer based test, uh, multiple choice. Um, it will be shared soon. All the uh, details about the assessment will be shared soon to you. This is our humble seva. Uh, we have three uh, websites, sanskritfromhome.org, vioma.org and digitalsanskrit.com. You can always go through the, all three uh, websites and uh, take our offerings. We have 43 self-learning multimedia products 
and 365 plus free courses, 17 free mobile apps, and 8,000 plus video and audio content, and 61,000 plus uh, content. <coughs> all these have been possible by your generous support. Uh, is this because of all your support and all your, uh, uh, you know what, uh, the inspiration you give some uh, suggestion uh, you ask for some courses and that will really uh, uh, like a, like a boost for us to do much more courses like this and you have been uh, you can also be a part of our journey by learning what is taught in the class you have to um, do it every third like just like ashtotara uh, you have uh, it is benefited only if you chant every day uh, and uh, you can some spend some time by teaching these to further students with, who are interested. And you can always share what you have learned uh, by referring Yomas courses. This is very uh, important because all the courses are free. You can always share with your family, friends who are interested. Uh, there are so many courses um, from uh, every perspective, every thing, which is Sanskriti, Sanskriti, Samskara. So you can always go through Vyoma and you can always share Vyoma's courses and classes. Here is a donation information. If you are somewhere, uh, some people are asking for donation. Donation. So I am just sharing this. You can always go through, uh, go to the, go to our website, and there is a donate button and a volunteer button. If you want to volunteer for our uh, uh, Vyoma, you can click here and uh, do uh, the fill the form. For also donation, you can click here and go to this. This is, comp this is uh, again, it is very, uh, it's not compulsory. It is purely, uh, if you want to, you wish, if you wish to do, you can do this. For US, these are the details. You can always go through this. And again, uh, last, but not, last but not the least, learn Sanskrit and be really happy. Thank you so much. Uh, if anyone wants to share your testimonials, here is your time. You can uh, kindly switch on your video and you can raise hand. We can uh, allow you to talk. Please switch on your video if you want to share something. Thank you. Thank you. And one thing, I'll be sharing you uh, in the chat. I'll be sharing you the feedback form. Uh, if possible, kindly please fill that form. It would be very helpful for the further courses. Thank you so much. Namaste, sir. Uh, we are very fortunate to have this class, sir. Very amazing, amazing class. And uh, actually, we, we will do Ashtotara, but uh, without knowing the meanings, we will be doing that. Uh, but this time we had the opportunity of uh, knowing all the meanings. Uh, so much thank you, very much thanks for you and uh, Yoma team and Sahana Ji also. So many participants who have asked uh, so many related questions and uh, you have answered it very well, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Danyavada. Uh, Ramakrishna Mahodhya.
नमस्ते महोदय गणेश चतुर्थी समीपे अस्ति अस्मिन् अवसरे भवता पाठिता अष्टोत्तरशतनामी बहु उपयुक्त अस्ति बहु बहु धन्यवाद श्रूयते वा नमस्ते अति उत्तम अस्तन अद्वितीय अस्त धन्यवाद नमस्ते महोदय Uh, very very happy to learn this for so many years i've been saying this ashtotra without knowing meaning today thanks to vyoma thanks to you thanks to sahana ji i'm able to chant i'm so happy to learn this i also have been reading sastranama on my own i found your uh, lecture like the way you taught people to pronounce so for me that's also a very great help i have bookmarked that course also there is also gakara um uh, trishati um uh, that is the only trishati i have access to uh, i am struggling with even the pronunciation forget meaning just the pronunciation i'm struggling so whenever you get the time with ganesha i'm just worried it's going to be last year you taught sashnama this year you taught ashtotra i'm afraid it's going to be at least one year before you teach uh, so i'm feeling bad about that hopefully not so long but ganesha should uh, help you teach us the trishati in the meantime if we want to read trishati on our own is gakara trishati what is normally recommended there are other trishatis but again the same thing there are many versions okay i have to see which version is followed throughout india i will check and i'll get back to you okay dhanyavaad arun thank you so much नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी मच इट वाज वेरी एक्सलेंट लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी एंड आफ्टर दिस इच टाइम आई डू द अष्टोत्तरम और एनी सहसनाम आई विल ट्राई टू विजुअलाइज द इमेज ऑफ भगवान एंड यू हेल्प मी थैंक यू सो मच Muted, please. Please, please. So thank you again for uh, teaching us. It was extremely helpful, and it's full of devotion in your in your words. And uh, we appreciate that. At this young age, you are I'm much older, and you are our guru. Thank you so much. Devika ji wants to know how to turn on her video. देविका भगिन कैन यू ट्राई नाउ your mute namaskar guru ji these okay. five days has been uh, very very refreshing especially in the morning listening to the ashtotra and starting the day it has been very very nice and uh, thank you for explaining the meaning of each and every word so whenever we go to the ganesha temple if not all the 108 whatever Uh, namas we remember we can always uh, relate it uh, relate uh, that when we go to the temple it was been very 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 a uh, truly a uh, uh, divine experience and especially we are close to uh, ganesha chaturthi we have learned it and we expect to learn more from you thanks to uh, pranams to ganesha pranams to guru ji thanks for yoma for connecting uh everybody and uh, uh giving us this 
blissful experience uh, so many times i guess so many courses no words to uh, uh, thank them thank you guruji for all your uh, the wonderful session that you have rendered at this five days thank you okay ram 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 thank you thank you one and all for your all uh, very nice feedback we will shortly get back to you with amazing course from vina excel so ram 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 thank you one and all ram 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 sarvebhya dhanyavada we will finish with the shloka which we could not do today jetum yastripuram harena harina vyajad balim badhata srashtum vari bhavodhuvena bhuvanam sheshena dhartum dharam पार्वत्या महिषासुर प्रमथने सिद्धाधिप सिद्ध ध्यात पंचशरेण विश्वजित पायात्सनागानन मिला